Hi, I'm Judy Chicago, and I want to tell you about Through the Flower, which is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that was founded in 1977. Through the Flower was born out of my goals of educating, inspiring, and empowering a broad audience through art. Over the decades of my career, Through the Flower has been essential in my work, not only supporting the dinner party, then touring it, then caring for it until it could be permanently housed, which was one of my goals. Then, through the flower, supported and toured the birth project to over 100 venues and permanently placed almost all the 80 works of needlework and painting in institutions around the country and as far away as New Zealand. Then, Through the Flower helped to support the Holocaust Project, which I did over an eight-year period with my photographer husband, Donald Woodman. That project and the Holocaust has been called the most challenging, philosophical dilemma of the 20th century and raised issues that even today have not been resolved. By the time of the Holocaust Project, I had met and married my husband, photographer Donald Woodman, who had been based in New Mexico, which is how we came to Berlin. At the end of that project, Donald insisted that we establish a home of our own, something I had never had in my life. My parents never had it either. Quite by chance, we found the old Boleyn Hotel, which we fell in love with. Once we were settled, Through the Flower began to do exhibitions, public programs, and educational outreach from a building across the hotel. We gifted the thousand volume dinner party library by and about women to UNM Valencia, where it has grown to over 2,100 volumes that are used statewide. Through the Flower also established the Judy Chicago Art Education Award, funded by Mary Ross Taylor. Its intention is to support projects that employ art to teach and engage young people through art. Then, Through the Flower had to pull back from its public programming until a few years ago when the city of Berlin came to us and asked us if we would reopen the exhibition and public art space. They also asked us to create a permanent exhibition about Donald's and my life in Berlin that it could explain to visitors how we happened to be here, how this town provided us for many decades with a great place to work and concentrate and how we wanted to give back to the community because the idea was that Through the Flower Art Space would act as an anchor for the revitalization of the Becker Avenue Arts District. One thing that's important to understand is that just like the dinner party, all my projects have been funded by small donations. The same with the art space. It was incredible to us that the town of Berlin came together and raised enough money for the renovations of the art space. And we feel very happy with the amount of support both that has come to us and we've been able to generate for the businesses around us. When you visit our gallery, our resource center aimed at providing intellectual and artistic resources to a community that often doesn't have access to those. Our gift shop where art is made widely available or attend our programs. You are participating in our effort to inspire, educate, and empower through art, which we are firmly committed to. Now, I want to introduce you to our partners in the Becker Avenue Arts District. Hi, I'm Jared Cordova. 
the mayor of Belen, New Mexico, and I want to welcome you to the Belen Arts District. Belen is a historic and cultural community nestled along the Rio Grande in the heart of the land of enchantment. Our arts district has a long and storied history that goes back to about 1956 when we established the Belen Art League in our community and began to grow what has become the historic arts district. Over the many years, artists have come and gone and we have seen the arts district continue to grow with more galleries, restaurants, wineries, a brewery, and many other businesses for you to frequent. In 2019, Judy Chicago and Donald Woodman started Through the Flower Art Space, right in the heart of our arts district. And since that time, we have seen the revitalization of our downtown, more businesses come to the area, an amazing contribution to the entire Becker Avenue Arts District. I am standing in front of Old City Hall. It was a uh, building that was constructed in 1936 as part of the Works Progress Administration during the Great Depression. And as we're coming out of the most recent uh, depression, the pandemic that uh, had caused a lot of economic distress, not only in our community, but across the United States, uh, we are reminded that it is the arts, it is culture, and it is history like this that will continue to push us forward and give us an opportunity to continue to grow, to continue to thrive, and to continue to be uh, the vibrant arts community uh, that we all love uh, and want to be. Thank you again for uh, joining us here in our arts district, and uh, we hope to see you soon. Malcolm Morgan and I'm the owner of the Grid Gallery on Becker Avenue in Berlin, New Mexico in the Arts District. My gallery is a photography gallery. Um, all the artists on the wall are all local from Valencia County and they have a very different range from black and whites to landscapes to abstract. Along with photography, the Grid Gallery also has a gift store um, and everything in the gift store is all locally made. Either it's crafted, designed, or manufactured here in Valencia County. And we have a little something for everybody. So it's a little edgy, it's a little fun. We're in the Arts District because it's always been our dream to be here. And uh, for the past 12 years, my husband and I have tried to establish an Arts District from restoring old buildings to getting people to come. Um, and it really at, was the epitome of Through the Flower that opened in 2019 that got the ball rolling Cross, for us. And, and so we decided we want to be a part of this. So uh, we established the Grid Gallery last year in a very small space that we've now expanded to a much bigger space here in the heart of Berlin and in the Arts District. So we're so excited to be here. And uh, this is just our dreams come true. Hi, I'm Kelly Cross. I'm the president of the Berlin Art League. I am also the owner of Studio 508 on Becker Avenue. Uh, Berlin Art League is a collective of local artists and artists from the surrounding area. Uh, we have represent many different mediums here. Uh, we do uh, several shows during the year. We usually have a spring show and then a fall show and other events that happen within this area that we can participate in to promote art. Uh, Berlin Art League has been in existence since 1956 and uh, home here in this building since 2003. Uh, we have outreach programs. Uh, we've done summer programs for kids. Uh, also a, a scholarship for high school students who are going to pursue uh, more education in the arts. We're very proud to be a part of Berlin's art district. Uh, where there's so many businesses coming in right now. We, we've got things happening that we're so excited about being a part of. Uh, we have nowhere to go but up here. So uh, we get visitors from Albuquerque, Santa Fe, uh, all over the place that say, wow, you guys really have it going on here as far as nice art, good prices. 
So we encourage you to come and visit us. The Studio 508 is my home, my studio, and also an open uh, gallery space for artists to have one-man shows free of charge. Uh, their sales are free of charge as well to give them the experience of making it in the art world, to have exposure and uh, to get people to recognize them and their craft. Studio 508 is very proud to be a part of the Arts and Culture District here in Berlin. In fact, we kind of think of ourselves as one of the cornerstones in this part of town. Uh, really proud to be a part of it. Hi, my name is Ronnie Torres, and uh, let me give you a little history about the bug lights. It's a Christmas display that we have here in Berlin. It's been around since 1970. It first started with Joyce and Norman Bug up in Albuquerque. It was a, a Christmas display they had at their home, and um, they got too much for the neighborhood, so they had to move it out. So Berlin eventually ended up with it, and we have a year-round museum dedicated to Joyce and Norman Bug, to the mechanical display that they have, all kinds of Christmas things. And um, on the month of December, we actually have a whole celebration outside. It's an indoor and outdoor display, and we have thousands of people come and look at it every year. So we, we welcome you to come and look at our Christmas display year-round. Hi, I'm Barb Harmeo, and I'm one of the co-owners of Harmeo Vineyards. We're a 10-acre vineyard located right out of Berlin. Our vineyard actually started in 2003, and we opened our winery in 2013. Since then, we've gotten gold, double gold, and silver medals at both the San Francisco competitions and the New York competitions. We have our tasting room at a beautiful old historic 1909 hotel right on Becker Avenue that my sister-in-law renovated. Right now, we've tested over 32 varieties of grapes at our site, and we make 25 different types of wine. Two of the wines are really special. We uh, collaborated with Judy Chicago, and we let her um, select two of the blends that Robert made to put her signature name and, and um, label, and we give 30% of those proceeds to keep the Through the Flower nonprofit that she supports in Berlin going. Our tasting room is directly across from Through the Flower art space, and there's many other art spaces and artists that have shops and their work displayed up and down Becker Avenue. It's a great destination to come, view art, and have a glass of wine. My name is Fred Chavez. I want to welcome you to Chavez Brothers Winery. This is Sue Kill. She's uh, my partner in crime in uh, a lot of the things we've done, not only out there in the vineyard, but also uh, here in the winery. We're brand new here in Berlin, and we're located right here in the heart of the hub city. Uh, we're loving every minute of it, and we had a wonderful grand opening back on the 6th of June and a, a family, uh, friends and family day which followed. And this entire last month has just been incredible. So we couldn't ask for more. You know, when it says believe in Berlin, we absolutely do. We'd, we'd like to see this economy turn around. And we'd like to be a major part of it. So we try to do anything that we can to help. We frequent the businesses that are here in town to make sure that, that uh, we are part of that community, that we're giving back. So that's a little bit about us. I'm actually a country girl and I'm so excited to be back in a smaller community. I actually live in Albuquerque and so Berlin has just uh, made me feel at home. Um, knowing that we're in the right place, you always know uh, when it feels comfortable. We love the people, uh, I love the history, and um, I love learning how to make wine, which I knew nothing about. And so this is a very exciting new chapter in my life. And, uh, I look forward to meeting more people in Berlin and being a part of this community. We're, as they say, living the dream. We go 
by this motto of good wine, good friends, they make a great blend, and life is great. ago the library at that librarian at that time got the bright idea of asking the city if the city of Berlin would loan us a building where we could have a permanent used bookstore which they did they were very gracious in their donation our uh, location happens to be right in the middle of the art district here in Berlin and so we have been able to collaborate with some of the galleries in the area. The Friends of the Berlin Public Library, especially those of us who are volunteers here at Books on Becker, are really, really proud to be a part of the Berlin Art District. Hello, everyone. We are Solis Custom Design. My name is Daniel Solis. This is Natalie Solis, my wife. And we are here in the Berlin Arts District. Very proud to be here. Uh, what we do here at Solis Custom Design is we have a lot of uh, home decor, custom-made furniture. Uh, my wife does a lot of uh, custom jewelry, a lot of work with turquoise, um, a lot of work with sterling silver. And we're very proud to be here. We've been in Berlin for 10 years as far as uh, living in Berlin. We're not from here originally. But we really, really love this town. And we're really, really happy to start our business here and to set our roots in this town. And to uh, hopefully, we're up for our kids, to grow up here and be a part of Berlin. It's a great place and we are very, very proud to be here. So thank you very much and thank you Berlin for welcoming us. I'm Diane Gellin, president of the board of Through the Flower. I've been associated with Through the Flower since its inception in 1977. Over the years, I've had many roles working with Judy Chicago. First, I was the administrator of the dinner party, providing support to Judy and ensuring the studio and the work we were doing ran smoothly. Then I organized and developed the national and international tour. And in the last few years, I have resumed a major role as board president as we pursue our goal of building a historic legacy of overcoming the erasure of women's achievements. I'm very proud that we have been able to survive and thrive through community support over the last 44 years. When we established the Through the Flower art space, we wanted it to be part of the fabric of the city and add to its cultural richness. We are proud to be part of the Berlin community and to help and support the Becker Avenue Arts District.